look at this. I think we all know why she's winking and what it means. I think we all know that. We can intuit that. We can see that. So in other words, <clears throat> ladies, your feminine superpower is your sexual energy. That is your superpower. And all of you have it. You might be using it to whatever degree you are using it or not, but you all have it. It's totally inherent to you. If he, whoever he is in your life, your relationship partner, your husband, a guy you're dating, someone you hope to date, you know, if you, if he regularly has the experience of authentic, real, amazing sexual energy from you, that sexual vibe coming from you, he will love you. He has no choice about that. It's wired up that way. It's inherent. He can't help but love you. And it also brings out the best in him, okay? And the reason that he loves you for that is because it's you. It's really the depth of who you are. Now, I use this superpower all the time in my life, in my relationship with Erwan. I didn't always, but when I learned how inherent my sexual energy is to me and what a good impact it has on life, well, I just use it all the time, you know? Like, Today and most days, Erwan and I, you know, we both work from home. We're in the house together. We're passing each other in the hall and in the kitchen like a bazillion times. And I make sure every single day, at least a few times, you know, not to just be like, hey, or just not say anything because we just saw him five minutes ago. But I just say, hey, and give him that little look. It takes half a second. I get turned on. He gets turned on. And then we go about our days. It adds something to the day. Now, we also have a daily sensual practice as we've shared with all of you. And okay, the other day, this is actually a couple of weeks ago, we had finished our sensual practice and we were lying there in the glow and I was like laying on Erwan's chest. And I was thinking, oh my God, like I should have him stroking my clit and give him blowjobs every day for the rest of my life. I feel amazing. Oh my God. And it was like making this vow to myself that I will never, ever forget that. I was feeling so amazing. And then I pop up, you know, it's time to start the day. And the loudest sound I've ever heard is blaring through our sliding glass doors, drilling next door, right? Our neighbor's doing all kinds of work on his house. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, in the next two hours, I'm going to be interviewed on two different podcasts. This noise is totally going to wreck everything. I was like, oh my God. And Erwan goes, well, why don't you just go next door and ask them to take a break, you know, until like 1 PM. And at first I was like, what? Like, I can't do that. And then he's like, Sure you can, gorgeous. You can do anything. And I was like, oh, yes, I can. And there was Erwan reflecting back that sexual energy with all this love. I felt great. So I like walk out of the house. I put on like my cute pink mask and I sashay across the driveway and I go up to the guy that seemed to be in charge of this whole construction project, right? And I was like, hey, you know, would you guys mind taking a little break? I'm going to be on a couple of interviews, and it's really loud. And I was just beaming him, not necessarily with super sexual energy, but really bright, bright energy. And I could see it reflected in his face, and he lit up, and then he's like, no English. He didn't speak English. So I said, okay. Um, like it's loud and I was trying to, and then he punches something up on his phone and he shows it to me and it said boss. And then it had the phone number. <laughs> I was like, 
this is great. So like, thank you so much. You know, I float back into the house and I text the boss and I, I sent this good vibes, at least, you know, through the, through the text. I said, oh, would you mind having you guys, your, your guys take a break for a couple of hours? I've got these important interviews. I didn't hear back right away. I was a little worried. So I get in my car, you know, drive for the first interview. I had the interview. It was great. And I'm pulling back into my driveway and I look and sure enough, the boss said, yep, I've had my guys stop for the rest of the day. They're going to work on something else. Enjoy your day. So cool, <laughs> right? The power of a woman's sexual energy and how that can manifest. Now, it's not always like that for us, right? Last weekend, Erwan and I were at this outdoor kind of wine bar loungy place, right? We're sitting there, we're having some drinks, hanging out. And I, have, I was like, in plain view was a table right next to us with a couple, you could hear everything they were talking about, right? So I was sitting there. We were just enjoying the view. And then the guy and the couple said, you know, hey, baby, like, you know, what do you want? You know, what kind of wine? I'm going to go and get us some drinks. And she says, don't you know what I like by now? And you could just see his face fall. And he's like, uh, oh, oh, yeah, oh, sure, I'll get it. And it was like, okay, that's kind of the opposite of using the sexual superpower, right? And then he comes back with the drinks and then they're there and they're chatting. And he said something about, um, he's like, yeah, you know, remember that trip to Paris that we took and we were in that, that little bar in, in Burgundy and it was so sweet. She's like, yeah, that was Burgundy, but anyways, whatever. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is what we do sometimes. We either deliberately or just inadvertently have the opposite effect on the men in our lives than we want to. There's a lot of power in sending that positive, bright, sexual energy towards the guys. Now, this can be done as a single person too. The other day, I was coaching one of the women that I coach. She's a single woman. She's in her early 50s. It's nobody here in the class. And she said to me, she's like, yeah, you know, she's diving into dating, right? She got a matchmaker and she has it on all these dating sites and these apps. And she said, I had a first date with this guy and I was sitting across the table with him and he was so cute and he was so shy. Like he was having trouble making conversation and I felt awkward. So I tried being really polite and accommodating, trying to make him comfortable, and it didn't work, and it was weird. I don't know what to do. So I said, look, just flirt with him. Just send that sexual energy his way. You know, give him the eyes. Have him feel good. It'll bring out the best in him. And she said, well, I don't want to send sexual energy because I'm not sure if I'm going to want to have sex with him. And I'm like, honey, this has nothing to do with having sex. This is you using that superpower, enjoying yourself. I, trust me, it will bring out the best in him. So she goes on another date and sure enough, she reports when she got back, she said, you know what? I did what you said. I felt a little nervous, but I just smiled. I made the eyes. I, I crossed my legs towards him. Whenever I thought a joke was funny that he told, I laughed and I touched his leg. I did all the stuff you said to do. And he was so much more confident. And I'm going out with him again tomorrow night. <sighs> we are so powerful as women. And we can have a really, really good effect on the men in our lives and bring out the best in them. Now, I want to talk about something. As women, we sometimes have concerns about using this sexual energy, right? Sometimes it doesn't come super easily. Now, here's some of the common concerns that I've certainly had as a woman and I hear from women. You may or may not recognize yourself in these. You know, sometimes we can feel insecure about our own sexuality or our bodies or our femininity. Maybe we've been conditioned to shun that energy, or maybe that energy was exploited in some way in our past. We can get triggered. We can feel like, well, I don't want to just be valued for my sex. 
I want to be valued for my mind. So we might kind of hold back the sex and, and put the intelligence and the mind at the forefront, thinking that's going to be more valuable or something. We can feel like, well, we really put it out there. You know, we had what we thought was amazing sex with a guy, or we really put ourselves out there, and the guy lost interest, or the guy left, and now we're confused, and maybe we were too much. So we just kind of want to hold it back. And we might simply feel vulnerable about it. You know, this is like our deepest self, besides our self with the capital S, which is the real deepest self. As the feminine in a body, this is like our deepest expression, right? So sometimes we shore ourselves up. We just keep it in the background, right? So you might recognize yourself in some of, some of those. Now, here's what I have to say about that, okay? <clears throat> when these concerns come up, we have simply forgotten. We just forgot. We forgot ourselves and who we are. We have been bamboozled by confusion and the culture and our past experiences or interpretations of religion and what that means. And we just forgot. And the power of our sexual energy is so big. It's so who we are. It's the deepest part of us as our manifest selves. Sometimes it's so powerful that like we can get a little scared or maybe people in our past have been scared and tried to squash it or ignore it or shame it or make it wrong. That's all. We just forgot. Now is the chance to remember. Our sexual energy is brilliant and it's not separate from these other qualities like our intelligence, our strength, our love, our compassion, our sexual energy is the fuel for all of that. It's the fuel that drives us. So all of that to say, I invite you to let yourself feel it and feel it now. You can feel it during the session. This is a safe space. So that's my invitation. Wow. God, I love that. <laughs> 